Thank you, Ed. Well, this morning we venture to Blunt County as our next stop in our Abandoned Places series. Yes, WBIR 10 News reporter Leslie Ackerson is in studio with more. Good morning. Good morning, Russell. Good morning, Abby. Well, this curvy Tennessee stretch known as the Dragon is a favorite among motorcycle enthusiasts winding through the beauty of Blunt County and buried in one of its never ending twists is the town of Calderwood or it was. Sidewalks that lead to nowhere and rusted street signs are small hints the town of Calderwood once existed. One of the final pieces, Calderwood Baptist Church, is following in those fateful footsteps. It was a one room kind of, you know, oh, one of those old kind of churches, you know. My grandfather actually preached there. That's the church he grew up in. He's had to watch that fall into ruin. The front doors hang limply on their hinges, opening into a deep pit of twisted shingles and splintered wood. The pretty stained glass windows that you saw, half of them are gone now, and we're just left with, you know, little pieces. Creeping katsu blankets the crumbling remains and a thick tangle of vines, slowly swallowing the little church. It's sad that we lose a piece of history when we lose a building like this, because there are so many people's stories that are still in the walls of that place stories that Earl Baldwin has grown up on. From the time that I could remember as a kid and my pap walking me down these roads telling me, you know, that's where your papa's barn was. Here's the church. Here's where our house was. And, and I've loved it ever since. The church was one of the last buildings the town kept alive. Today, it's a structural hazard for any trespassers. A building that's not lived in, a building that's not worked in, will fall into disrepair just like that. Just like the rest of this former boom town. Built along scenic Chihaui Lake, the town of Calderwood was created as a hydroelectric base in 1912. Workers who built the dams built their lives and their families there too. It was a big deal. There were people everywhere, sidewalks, kids roller skating, tennis courts, and something so out of reach, but then something very homely. The sad exodus began when the nearby dams were finished in the 60s, leaving the community without jobs. Most of them hated having to leave. And who could blame them? Homes were relocated or torn down, and the town fell into disrepair. The stories can last longer than the building. When that building's gone, the things that happened inside it, the people's lives that change, they won't, they won't leave if we keep spreading the story and just keep telling it. And Earl plans to keep telling. This place is part of who I am. Now the church will likely return to nature. Meanwhile, Brookfield Hydropower owns two other buildings left on the property and uses them for their company. There is another church on the property as well and a cemetery that has been upkept. You can still go out and visit Calderwood and enjoy the lake as long as you're out by three before they close the gate. I'll send it back to you. Boy, that is such a beautiful spot. Leslie, I love that story. Thank you. And right now on the app, you can explore photo galleries, behind the scenes video. You can watch an old Heartland series about the area and see our other abandoned places. Such a great series. Yeah, it really is. 626 still to come.